Hello everybody. So you can see my baking is at six right now. <clears throat> my cooking is at nine. Okay, so I just started level like I just started with this, the basic cooking workbench. I pretty much just got started with this, have not been doing it long. It's just been like not even a day that I've been working on this. Um Let's go to my crafting. Let's see. Cooking is at nine. Baking is at six. Uh, wine making and brewing is at two. Like I mean, you can see like I have almost no time put into this. And so, if you're doing cooking, what I do have a lot of time in is charcuterie. My charcuterie is at nineteen. You see, so I've been as I've been hunting, I've just been bringing all of my all the meat that I've been getting from the animals and I just been doing charcuterie and I haven't really focused on anything else I just been doing charcuterie because it's easy like you kill a you know you kill a boar you kill a wolf you go to the charcuterie table you use it and then you know you just kind of passively level it up for the most part unless you're actively working on that um, it, you know it just kind of comes as it comes and I have basically been ignoring cooking up until now because I've been focusing on other things so before I got too far into cooking I wanted to show you if you're wanting to level up cooking get some uh, strong foods I wanted to show you when you get started in here so like as you're adventuring you're traveling around you're gonna want to just grab up and collect you know uh, certain things you know like see this you need water and blueberries and then these uh, like rye flour and yeast, we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit, but apples, um, barley stalks, fennel, those kind of items that you're going to come across as you travel around the world. So just collect those up, shove them in a chest somewhere until you feel like, you know, you want to work, start working on your cooking. And I recommend when you start working on your cooking to also start working on your baking you build this stuff like this right here the basic fermenter the millstone basic bread oven and again you've seen my skill levels I am NOT very high in this at all so I built these in just a couple of hours I got my skills up to where I needed them I built these no problem and then these let's see what these are so see the rye dough and lard and you're gonna want to stockpile lard every animal you kill keep the lard because you're going to be using a lot of lard. But yeah, so see like the, the grains, the rye grain, grapes, strawberries, raspberries. And I'm going to go over that in a second because raspberries are in abundance. And that's one of the best things to do in the early levels. I just wanted to kind of show you. So this, to make rye flour, you need to collect up 20 rye grain. And then barley, collect up barley to make barley flour. And then here you make the malt with the barley grain, the yeast with water and rye flour. So, give you an idea of the kind of stuff you're going to be wanting to collect and stockpile. This is just a bigger version of this, that fermenter over there. This is just the regular fermenter. And then also I have the wine making the distillery and wine barrel over here as well. Because you can kind of level up those three things together. Uh, bakery, cooking, the wine, and uh, charcuterie as well because you're going to be hunting. So like those four skills basically kind of they kind of tie together. Um, but if you're going to be wanting to level up cooking and stuff, like we can come in here. Like I I love making like wolf sausage and langris lay um, links. Um, or over here and making the fine venison sausage but when it comes to strong foods I mean those are good but you can make some really powerful stuff with this right here and leveling up your cooking this right here I just have to recommend the raspberry syrup which I have made I think I made like 150 or so um, this stuff is amazing. It's amazing to level up 
and it's strong. It gives you a lot of health. I mean, look at that. 31 health, 20 stamina, plus fire and poison resistance. And raspberries are everywhere. So you're, when I first got that, I was kind of like, what I needed was the water. So that, these, these are how you get water. These water wells. And you unlock these pretty easily, and they're very easy to make. So once you get the wooden winch, you'll be able to make these. And if I remember right, the wooden winch, you make it either with carpentry or blacksmithing. I forget which table. We'll check it out. Winch. Yep, okay. So you come down here. When you get to where you can make the wooden winch, you make that. And then you get the other materials and you make a water well. And then once you have the water, you go around the world. And I recommend stockpiling just, you know, the barley and rye for sure, fennel, um, mustard. But especially, I recommend um, the raspberries because the raspberries are everywhere. You can get so many raspberries in such a short amount of time that even though it's very hard to craft, it, it's like irrelevant because you know you can stockpile thousands of these things very quickly like you see those the red in the background like those are all and if you want while you're collecting those you can also level up tailoring by collecting flax <clears throat> and see here that's cotton so these little white flowers the cotton can be kind of hard to spot but that's cotton and flax so you know just wandering around leveling up your tailoring and you can grab a few stacks of raspberries and work on your cooking so I kinda recommend doing that like just traveling around grabbing up you know the grains the rye grain and like you know like I've already said grab a few stacks of each we're gonna grab up a bunch of these raspberries you can get a lot of raspberries very quickly and we just look around that's better I don't feel like running all the way over there. Clay, which obviously I'm sure you know. <clears throat> We're just going to wander around, grab up a bunch of raspberries. I don't actually want the flax right now. But these fields like on the map here these fields see those see what the field little icons look like like you can see the forest you can see the different trees see where I'm at and how the the little icons for the field this is where you're gonna find a lot of this stuff but look at this just a ton of raspberries everywhere and for the longest time I was just using raspberries plain. I wasn't making any food with them. I was just grabbing them up and just eating them, you know. And the same with apples. I was just traveling around with a bunch of apples and just eating them without, you know, realizing I could make better and stronger food with them. But look how fast this is. Like, just run around real quick. Grab up an abundance of raspberries because raspberries are just everywhere. What do we need now? Oh, water. And water is made very quickly. I always keep it filled with water. Cause I hate waiting on it. But now look at this. And just craft a bunch of these. And this is, I think, the syrups are the best way to level this up. You know, like, you can stockpile so much of the raspberries and then, like, strawberries for strawberry syrup. Like, these different syrups. And, you know, the teas as well, depending on your location and how much you find. Because I know some areas there's a ton of fennel and then in the other areas it's hard to spot you know same with grapes like in some areas there's a ton of grapes and then in 
in a lot of other areas it's very hard to find grapes so just depending on what resources you find but i found generally everybody has very good access to making these syrups especially raspberries everywhere i've gone i've found tons of raspberries and well, I just wanted to share those little tidbits of information. Um, gathering up your tailoring flax and cotton as well as all of your raspberries and fennels and, um, you know, just the stuff that you can gather up from the different plains areas. You can level up so many different skills just by wandering around and collecting those things and I just wanted to share that with you and I wanted to show you how great it is to make these syrups they are amazing foods very good for leveling your skills so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching um, like follow subscribe do all the good stuff whatever it is you feel like doing I would appreciate it comment share um, I made a Discord for Prometheus, so if you're on the Prometheus server, I would appreciate it if you join the Prometheus Discord that I made. Alright, and have a good one.